All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page, hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Today we have a special guest on, Sean P. And we're going to talk about <laughs> your boy, <laughs> <laughs> Melly Mel, uh, deleting his diss track and apologizing to Eminem. So let's get into it. Subscribe to the page. You know what it is. So today we got a special guest on. Introduce yourself, brother. What's good? What's good? Um, it's your boy Sean P. Uh, I was with uh, my man uh, Reese the Funeral Man on Chattel Co Radio for what was it? About six years. We had a, yeah, had a good yeah. run with that. And right now I have my own uh, podcast on YouTube, which is uh, Hip Hop Roundtable Reviews, um, where we talk about hip hop topics and. Reese, this is the hottest topic I've ever had <laughs> on the podcast, this Eminem yeah. Melody, but we definitely will get to that. It's a pleasure uh, for me to join you guys, and thanks for having me on. Yeah, so, all right, so today's topic, we're going to get into it. Melly Mel. <laughs> <laughs> is it Grandmaster Melly Mel? Yeah. Oh, God. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Melly Mel, <laughs> but Melly Mel has came out and apologized to Eminem, and he deleted his diss track. Oh, um, do any one of you guys have the uh, thing, and do you want to read what he said? Do you have the? Uh, the I have it up speech? here. It's 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 long, but I could paraphrase. But um, well, well, I'll, I'll go from the top. So apparently. After Melly Mel's diss track, uh, the kickback, I believe, was the name of it. Um, he had a real, you know, quick change of heart and decided to um, apologize to Eminem and remove all of the diss record, the diss record from all the platforms. So he said. In light of the 50th anniversary of hip hop, my original intention was to contribute an engaging and enjoyable endeavor to enrich the to enrich the cultural landscape. Regrettably, my response fell short in its execution, and I expect accept full responsibility for the misjudgment. You could tell he didn't write this, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> I acknowledge that my perspective was ill-conceived, and I am prepared to take ownership of this oversight. It has become evident that Eminem's dedicated and passionate fan base stands unwaveringly by his side, which in a testament to their genuine admiration and loyalty, a truly commendable aspect. From the onset, I have consistently recognized Eminem's exceptional prowess as an MC without reservation. My unfortunate choice of words suggesting that his success is solely attributed to the color of his skin was in no way reflective of my genuine beliefs. Poor shit. <laughs> in, it was an, an attempt, albeit misguided, to engage competitively within the MC sphere. It is important to acknowledge that the dynamics of hip hop has evolved over distinct eras and is inevitable that not everyone will resonate with my perspective, just as I may not fully comprehend others. Throughout my involvement in shaping the hip hop landscape, the cornerstone has been built upon the foundation of mutual respect, even when personal preferences may differ. Moving forward, my paramount commitment is to foster an environment characterized by respect in every facet of my endeavors with utmost sincerity i convey my best wishes best wishes and extend heartfelt appreciation for eminem for the rec recognition extended to me during the rock and roll hall of fame speech induction 
In conclusion, I am keenly aware that hip hop encompasses diverse epochs <laughs> and my objective remains focused on promoting the spirit of respect as we collectively celebrate the 50th anniversary of this influential cultural phenomenon. Let me let me pause it real quick. Yeah, he didn't write that. Yeah. He didn't write that. That's he don't sound that smart. He never sounded maybe that smart. maybe maybe it was the, the white lawyer that would take your land. Yeah, maybe it was him. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was that guy. It was probably Eminem's lawyer. The white <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. I let me explain so, this gotta be the 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 probably the most self owned ever in his hip hop history. This is nuts that you would literally apologize. Like, it's like you, it's like he just said, you know what? His fans is, his fans is coming from my head. I might as well just stop the bleeding now because it ain't going to stop. And, and I, I, I have to commend him for that because most people would have never did that. They would have yeah. never, and I guess that's the old school, the old school way. Old school dudes do stuff like that. They be like, "Y'all lost that battle." <laughs> I don't know if they apologize. For that. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> apologize. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot to say about it, but go ahead. I'm gonna let y'all go. Well, he definitely didn't write that. That's for sure. <laughs> he, ain't, yeah. he ain't, he ain't write that. He ain't write that. His publicist hit him up and said, "Hey, listen." We got to stop this right now because you is getting sunned left and right. <laughs> so it, it was like, he was like, hey, I, already, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something already pre-written for him. Yeah. Like they already yeah. had something, in, something planned, something was in place for him and was like, yo, just take this and post it on your platforms and we good. That was it. There's a picture coming. Him and Eminem. I guarantee it. Yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. They gonna, you know that's coming. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely know that's coming. They're going to have one of them pictures, one of them pictures with, uh, with one of the hip-hop breaks in the middle and them shaking hands. Yeah. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Sitting at a round table or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think, I think he, happen. I think he, I think, I think he did realize at, I think he didn't know how powerful Eminem was. I think a lot of hip hop stars don't really know how powerful Eminem is when it comes to his fan base. I mean, like he's like it's like the beehive. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know how powerful Beyonce is until you say something bad about her, and they cool. just coming yeah. for you crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I and I I feel like that's how a lot of these these old heads they still living in the techno days where they think that. Because they was rapping 30, 40, 50 years ago and everybody respect them and they old school that they can just say, well, listen, I'm old school and I know what I'm talking about. And, and what y'all doing now? That ain't real hip hop. It's like, nah, homeboy, this, okay, then it ain't been real hip hop for 30 years because people been rapping this way for a long time. And it's like, he don't get it. He's still, I can respect okay. him coming out dissing Eminem and he had... If he was Big Daddy Kane, this would have been a totally different talk that we're having. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he right. coming out rapping like he's still, you know what I'm saying? Like he's still on the block, like in, in the 80s. Like, come on, bro. Like, no, this it, it just didn't work. It's a piss man. in the elevator, man. It's a piss in the elevator. Remember, you were pissed in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a roach calling out of a book bag. Book bag. He could have said that a little bit more smoother. You know what I'm saying? He said it like he said it like he was in the 80s. If he had said it like like like, yo, you like a roach calling out of a book bag. You know what I'm saying? If he would have said it with some swag, then I'd have been like, okay, that was corny, but I get it. But he said it like he was still in the 80s. You like a roach calling out of a book bag. I'm like, come on, bro. Huh. Huh. That nigga said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's my name? Melly Mel. Raw. That ain't even raw. 
If that was the rhyme, it would have been something different. That didn't even rhyme. And you wouldn't even count to 10. How you get to eight and stop? What made your brain stop at eight? That's what I don't understand. That was probably the worst part for me. He stopped at eight. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what are you trying to say? Like, oh, it's not complete. You rounded off to 10. <laughs> Gotta be a 10. You know how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the 10 crack. Come in. You know how this goes. This guy stops at eight. <laughs> like, come on, oh, bro. Man. This can't be real. Terrible. Come on, man. So I don't know, that, man. That, I mean, I can't help but laugh, laugh about this. I mean, this this just it's like really like a movie, man. Like like this is like a soap opera that's been going on with all of this you know, called Melly Mel, he I mean from him lifting weights and doing a doing a a, a vlog lifting weights explaining about how Eminem is uh is has white privilege and all this other stuff. I, I'm like, yo, this guy is a character, man. I just got to say that, but I, I kind of agree with y'all that I think, and I think it's a coincidence that the um the the, the hip hop 50th anniversary concert happened at Yankee Stadium, and this statement came out right after that because I do think some of the old the, the OGs like maybe um LL Cool J, maybe Fat Joe, maybe Big Daddy Kane, some of them those guys I think they got a hold of them. I said, look, man, this is just a bad look for hip hop. You know, we really should yeah. be together at this time because it's a big celebration. And this is really making us look bad because it makes us look like we're not accepting Eminem as part of hip hop. And how can you say that when at your Rock and Roll Hall of Fame celebration, he did nothing but throw through flowers at you. You know what I mean? That's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's the highest honor a musician could have. So... I think they looked at, they, they kind of, you know, talked him down and then he realized and like, this was a bad look. And then he just put, you know, got this statement together and put this statement out. So I do think it's the right move to make. I mean, this is all comical, but I, like you, Reese, I do com commend him from coming this way. But I mean, how far damage control can be done, I don't know. I mean, at this point, he he his career is solidified. He's a legend by default to me. So, oh, either yeah. way, what's going to really happen to Melly Mel? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? He could have not said nothing, and nobody would have cared. They would have just said, "Oh, this." They would have just used that 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 the line Eminem said, "Asteroids." You know what I'm saying? He got destroyed by <laughs> asteroids or whatever. It's like, but see, I understand that. It is the hip-hop uh, 50th anniversary, and I think that people did get at him. But I do believe that that he had no choice at this point because fans probably were saying something to him, and he know that that wasn't, bro, come on. You, you, terrible, you're not man. on M's level of rap. Like, it's like, <laughs> come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and it, and it just, it just, it just it 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 look it just felt like a scene out of the eighties, and it's like this is so trash, and it's like it felt like that. It really felt like a scene out of the eighties. Yeah. Everything about that rap, every I can tell that he had he have a bunch of old heads around him who don't listen to new new age music at all. Still listening to MC Shan and Molly Mall and all of them. Still listening to the bridge is over and all that. You know what I'm saying? Dun, 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 dun. Still doing the tunes and all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for real. <laughs> but they probably told him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta get out here. You got you gotta you gotta strike back. You know, it's cause they don't talk like how we talk. Like you gotta you gotta strike back. You gotta diss him. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> <laughs> He did the jaw. He came in and did the jaw. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I'm gonna come and diss this guy. I'm gonna strike back. You know what I'm saying? And what happened? He picked the '80s beat, and it's like, you ain't got no young boys around you telling you, like, bro, out of touch, man. Like out of touch. 
Like, yeah, come on. Fat Joe tried to talk to him. Fat Joe tried to talk to him. Um, yeah. There was a, a recent video put out by Fat Joe. He tried to talk yeah. to him. He was like, yo. Yeah. He tried to uh, he tried to sit with him, like, you know, hit him up and just see what was good with him. And they and then people was like, yo, he's hard headed. He don't want to. He probably listen. was like, he pro- I'm telling you right now, he probably was like, yo, what's my name? Melly Mel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Going like this, flexing. Yeah, you, like, yeah, you think you fat Joe, shut up. It's Melly Mel. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't have to. I, I'm the godfather. I started this. Like, come on, bro. Like, you Nino Brown or something of the, the hip hop game. Like, get out of here. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's just so funny to me that I believe a lot of rappers gonna see what he did and they're not gonna come at Eminem like that. You're gonna have some fans, but rappers know they know better. They know better. And Game, we all know why Game did what he did. Oh, yeah. We all know. But you don't, you, you, ain't, you don't see Game jumping on no track now and doing nothing. He ain't, say, he ain't say nothing now. Like, he was waiting. What happened? You you ain't heard a peep out of Game. And you know why that that is. You know what I mean? He don't have an album coming out. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Game, he, there's nothing to say. But at the same time, it's like, with, with this guy, I, I tell you what, man, I do think he is hard-headed. I think it took a while for people to work on him to say this is a bad look. Because, man, in that song, yo, he was really feeling himself, man. <laughs> what he said, what he said, <laughs> you were rope crawling out of the book bag, man. He was, he was on, he was on a hundred. Like, oh, I could just call tell, Bill like, Clinton. he really, he really oh, thinks Bill like, Gates. Bill Gates. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, Bill Gates Clinton. And, Bill Gates. And Bill Clinton, man. I you mean, couldn't come up with nothing better than that. Oh my God, man. And Bill he said Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. He said something. That's like. another thing. Pee Wee Herman, I mean, first of all, like, you know, in all you know, seriousness, he actually passed away, the real Pee Wee Herman recently. Yeah. You know, God rest yeah. his soul. But Pee Wee Herman yeah. was the eighties. You know what I mean? Like that was the '80s. So who yeah. under the age of 30 knows about Pee Wee Herman? You know what I mean? Right. Like, and, so I, and no disrespect to Pee Wee Herman, you know, I, you know, I, 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 we all grew up on Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, you know, Big Adventure. We all grew up on him. It's like, come on, yeah. Eminem is nothing like Pee Wee Herman. Like, you could have picked somebody else. It's, Where did like, I, I didn't, I don't, I didn't. I don't see the compare. I guess because Pee Wee Herman was was weird. And didn't Eminem diss Pee Wee Herman? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? That was the worst rap rap song I've ever heard in my life, yo. Honestly, like uh, I yes, can't... yes. That def- that's definitely definitely in my probably that's probably either one or two. Is there the the worst? That's by far the worst diss track of all time. Like, and what makes it worse is he was feeling himself on it, like, "Yo, I'm, I'm really the one for this." Like, he really <laughs> he said it in the like, beginning. I do this. Like, <laughs> like he was feeling it hard, man. Like, I do this. Oh, That's what I was waiting for for thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say my name. <laughs> Coming out, huh? Like, get oh, the fuck okay. out of here, man. Like, yo, this is so comical to me. It's like, and then you diss it. They, then you delete it. You delete it. That's what make it even worse. It's too late, nigga. We already got it. Like it never happened. Yeah, man. we already got it. Yep. <laughs> we already got it. It's already, it's already on online. People already reacted to it. It's too late. You can't do nothing about it. It's already recorded. Yeah. Nope. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Can't. can't do nothing about it. It's, it's over. It's over. You might as well just say, hey, man, listen, Eminem got me. He got me. I'll be back, though. <laughs> you know what I'm it's like, these guys is trash, man. I don't understand it, man, but it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where Melly Mel goes from here. I don't know. Oh, I mean, man. He's got, I think, I believe, and, and I will say this before we get out of here. This is the most attention I think he ever had in his whole career. Ever, I think this point. is the most attention. I oh believe. yeah, because back then they didn't have streaming, they didn't have YouTube, and I'm sure his video, even even though, this is how you know he's kind of kind of slow. He probably had he probably could have got over a million views, even though people was roasting him. He still would have collected all that 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 uh 
all the, the revenue from that. Yeah. But old school rappers don't care about that. They, they care about the image. So it's like, oh, no, no, this look bad on me. <laughs> I don't care if I make a million dollars off of this. This look bad. Like, no, yeah. delete that. <laughs> take, take two. You know what I'm saying? Do it again. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So, but yeah, man, you got to come back on again, man. Do this again, man. Oh, you know that, man. It, there's a lot of hip hop topics. I'm, I'm actually right now, I'm breaking down the new uh, complex list of the 50 best New York City rappers of all time, and it's causing a lot of controversy. Let's just say. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I didn't they see left that. Off yet, a lot so. of people off of there. I'll just put it like this: Ice Spice is number 50. I'll leave what? It yeah, come on. Wow. I just, just it started. You, you guys are gonna be talking about this, so how did I? Wow. It, yeah, yeah. Wow. Before we get out of here, I just gotta ask that question, and then we can close it out. How the girl just started? She got what yeah. two records? How she, she even make the list? For a whole year, I don't even think. And no, how? How she even make the list? She got two records, yeah. and she just started last year. Yeah, like come on, bro. I'm sure you could have found somebody. But well, there's a lot of controversy with how she got on too. I was um, I was like uh, listening to these documentaries on Ice yeah. Spice and how she w- how she first got on. They said she'd been signed for a minute. Mm. All right, then. Mm. Yeah, I know why too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signed yeah. her too. <laughs> hey, her yeah. and her mother get signed. Her sister fa- fine too. You seen her sister? Yeah. I've oh, seen the mother. Man. I think I've she. See, I've definitely seen the mother, man. Yeah, the sister is fine. They, mm-hmm. they say they say Ice Spice got Down syndrome. I don't believe it though. But that's what some people say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. But anyway, man, you know what I'm saying. We out of here, man. Sketchpad Podcast. Peace. All right, guys. Be safe. Mm-hmm. You too.